Dirt Rally literally came out of nowhere when it was stealth released on the Steam Early Access last week. In most cases, this would be alarming. But, this is Codemasters, and I couldn't be happier for this release, even if it is unfinished. I'm a longtime fan of the Dirt series, and to see it return puts a big smile on my face. Now, this isn't officially being called Dirt 4, but it pretty much is. Perhaps the most surprising thing, though, is that this is a simulation of rally racing. And the Dirt series improves all that much more for it. Not since the original Dirt did the feeling of racing on rally courses feel anything close to realistic. I did enjoy Dirt 2 and Dirt 3 for what they offered, despite many thinking the series went too dude bro. Dirt Showdown, well, it was something. It has some interesting things going on at least. But Dirt Rally is here, and man, what a game. Right now, you can only travel the roads of Wales, Monaco, and Greece. But they are such rich and varied places, complete with day and night lighting and a whole range of weather from fog to full-on storms. The weather wreaks havoc on gameplay too, changing how you adapt to road conditions. Right now, you can get in 14 cars spanning the 60s, 70s, 80s, Group B, Group A, and the 2010s. You could set up a custom event and play any of the available cars whenever you want, but in career mode, that's a different story. Career mode makes you work for it, starting in the 60s, and you'll only have enough cash to buy a car from that era. As you drive your cars, upgrades are earned just through playing, making you a better driver while the car also becomes better as well. You'll manage a team where, where you'll hire and fire members, and they'll gain experience from just staying on your team so long as you keep them employed and extend their contracts. As with real rally, damage is a factor. Gone is the rewind feature used so often in Codemasters games. Damage is more intense and it will do more adverse things to your car. You can, however, choose to repair your car in between stages, and you get a set period of time to do it in, and so you'll have to make some hard choices on what gets fixed and what doesn't. The game extends what could be a boring asynchronous multiplayer by including daily, weekly, and monthly events to compete in. These rotating sets of challenges always give you something new to do. As stated, this is a simulation and it controls superbly. You rarely feel like you've got a handle on the driving, but that's the way Dirt Rally likes it. Dirt Rally is also gorgeous and almost real looking. The lighting does an impressive job here. I've got the game running on Ultra, maxed every setting on my GTX 780, and with VSync on, it holds this very steady 60 frames per second. For a game that hasn't even been optimized yet, this game is just stunning. Dirt Rally is not finished, but I think the investment is absolutely worth it to go and buy this game now and just watch it get better and better from an already great starting point. If you are at all a Rally fan, this is the game to get. I've put a link to the game in the description for those who want to grab it.